Israel is, it is virtually impossible to understand all the prophecies that are within this book that are essential for you to gain eternal salvation or to have an opportunity to gain eternal salvation. You know, Paul said in Romans, the 10th chapter, he said that Israel had a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. And in God's word, it says that Israel was for signs and for wonders. And you know, growing up, I grew up in Chicago in the 60s and 70s, and I used to wonder why this African-American or the Negro or the black uh, race was always down, why they would never come up and, and, and prosper. They were always like kicked to the curb. And it used to, it used to weigh on my heart sometimes. I used to wonder about why this would happen. How come they were always down and they could never get ahead? They could never prosper. You know, a building would burn down in my neighborhood. Within a year or two, there'd be a brand new building there. Something would happen in an Israelite neighborhood or what I came to understand as being Israel, the African American or the Negro or the black race building would burn down or something would happen in their neighborhood and it would stay that way and it would never come back up. And I used to wonder about this and it wasn't until years later when I came into the true word of God that I understood why that would happen. You know, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter it talks about uh, the Lord makes his covenant with Israel and then he tells Israel in the beginning of that chapter if they obey him, obey his voice, and do what it is that he is laying out for them to do, that he would bless them and they would be the head and all other nations would be the tail. It was originally set up for Israel to be obedient to the Lord so that everything that they would touch would prosper. And all the other nations would come unto Israel and would say, you know, why is it that all your crops are always plenteous and all ours are always just coming up and they're so-so? How come everything you touch so-called turns to gold and everything we do, we're struggling at. And then Israel would turn around and would teach them about the true and living God. But when Israel got disobedient, at the end, from the middle of, of uh, Deuteronomy 28 to the end of Deuteronomy 28, you have what the Lord called curses. And again, remember that these are for signs and for wonders. These are for signs to who Israel truly is. Do you know that Moses was mistaken for an Israelite? Paul was, mis or for an Egyptian, mm -hmm. Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. And when you go into history, history proves that Egypt was a dark race people. They weren't Arabs. They were a black race of people. And that's why Israel was mistaken for Egyptians.